everyone. Uh, welcome to this very special web events. Uh, my name is Sean Frain, and I'm co-founder and CEO of a company called Looking Glass Factory. We're based in Brooklyn, New York. We make holographic displays. And I'm actually calling you um, for this event from our hardware lab in Hong Kong. Uh, so hello to everyone all around the world that's joining here today. And thanks for folks who rescheduled um, to this new time. Uh, I'm really excited to show for the first time a live demo of this technology, this new platform that we've been working on, Looking Glass Portrait. And based on the attendees, um, the list of attendees that signed up for this event, it actually looks like a, a lot of folks are on and are continuing to pop on here today. About half of you all are already familiar with what we do at Looking Glass and um, around half of you all are maybe new to the dream of the hologram and what a personal holographic display like what we've created with Looking Glass Portrait can do for you. Um, so I'm excited to share some examples of how you, all of y'all who are on this um, web event today, how you can create your own holograms for Looking Glass Portrait with no programming required. Um, a few easy ways and then some advanced techniques as well for folks who wanna go further. Um, I'm also going to be announcing a uh, additional surprise at the end. Some of you already know about it, but I'll go into something that um, a lot of folks have asked us about over the last six years of our operation um, as a company. And I'll go into some details about an exciting announcement at the end of um, this 30 minute event. Um, because about half of y'all um, are new to what we do at Looking Glass, wanted to show a two minute introductory video. I know some of you have seen this already, um, but this will give a really great um, quick overview of what um, is possible with this new technology of the Looking Glass portrait. So Janet from our team on the other end, if you don't mind running that. Over the last six years, we've developed a new type of technology. It works like a magical looking glass. By controlling the direction of millions of rays of light, what you see through it becomes as real as the world around you. This is the Looking Glass Portrait, your first personal holographic display. portrait generates dozens of perspectives simultaneously. This results in a three-dimensional hologram that floats out of the display, viewable by multiple people. No headsets required. I'm Sean Frain, and I'm part of the team that created the world's first holographic display back in 2018. And it's all been leading up to this. This is a memory machine. And it's a tool for holographic exploration. And it's a new canvas for 3D creators, all wrapped into one device. This is the Looking Glass Portrait, and it's your first personal holographic display. Uh, so you can see I haven't moved position or wardrobe since we shot that video. Um, basically everything that you saw in um, that uh, video overview, I'm gonna show you live here today. My palms are actually a little bit sweaty, live demo uh, to hundreds of folks on the internet of a holographic display. Um, uh, not a lot of folks do that. So uh, let's get started. 
this is what you will get when folks who've already purchased a looking glass portrait or new folks who might want to get one, which you can get at look.glass slash portrait um, uh, right now. This is what you'll get. Um, this is a prototype box. We're making a few tweaks, but I thought I'd uh, give you all an early preview. Um, open it up. Uh, your first personal holographic display. Um, pull it out of this nice box. And then out it comes. Um, and this is what you will find. So this is the looking glass portrait and uh, it's got a, I'm actually going to go through the whole setup right here. So you'll see how easy it is to get your first holograms running in this system. So you just take off the base plate, um, conveniently stays attached to the back if you want to wall mount, but I'm going to show you a, um, just a tabletop version here today. Snaps in the bottom like so. Uh, and there's a few ports on the side. Um, you can find out more about this on the Kickstarter on our webpage, but there's an HDMI port here, USB-C, an audio jack for adding your own speakers for holographic media that might have audio. Um, I'll show some examples of that later. Um, and then on button and uh, lighting control button and some advanced back and pause buttons on the side. Um, so uh, really simple on the outside. Um, and uh, this will let you create your own holograms easily. And I'm gonna show you an example of that in a moment. But first to start it up, just gonna plug in the USB-C cable, which comes with the systems and plugging that in the side. This is gonna run first in, in um, standalone mode. So this is a mode that doesn't require a computer to run. There's two modes for looking glass portraits, standalone and desktop mode. And I'll get more into that in a moment. Um, you'll see a little light appear on the side indicating you can turn on the system and it'll start to boot up. Every looking glass portrait, scoot this back a little bit. Um, every looking glass portrait ships with an included demo reel of exemplary holographic media. In this case, um, this animated astronaut. Um, I'm actually gonna, sh it's always hard to appreciate what a holographic, um, a hologram video or photo or otherwise looks like over 2D video. So I'm gonna pause this guy running for a moment. So you can kind of see what this is like. So just like you saw in that introductory video, what's happening here is this animated astronaut character uh, that was made in different types of uh, 3D creation software, uh, Blender, Maya, um, Unity, and what have you. This was um, saved onto the internal uh, memory of the looking glass portrait and can run as holographic media. There are dozens of different perspectives of this astronaut that are being displayed and pushed out and projected into the real world that then creates the holographic output that you see here. And it can run um, uh, as video as well, as you can see. Um, I know what a lot of you all are thinking, how can I make my own holograms? Great question. Um, the easiest way, and Biggie the cat here, this is a cat whose name is Biggie, He's going to um, be a perfect example of how you can make your own holographic photos for the looking glass portrait with just a few clicks of a mouse. So this hologram of Biggie the cat was created from a single portrait mode photo taken with this iPhone. And this process works with a variety of iPhones and also a number of Android phones as well. Every single time you take a portrait mode photo, you're actually capturing depth, whatever you've taken that photograph of. And our software, the name of our software package, it comes for free with every looking glass portrait, Hollow Play Studio, converts that depth information into a holographic version of that photograph. Um, Janet actually had, if you can show some screenshots of what that looks like. Thank you. Um, so you can see here, you um, just scroll over and click add hologram. And then there's a variety of different types of inputs that you can um, convert into holograms. In this case, selecting iPhone portrait photo and importing it in. This application works on PC or Mac. 
And then you'll see the depth that was hidden behind that portrait mode photo revealed. You can adjust focus and the amount of depth you want your hologram to have. And then you can save it to your looking glass portrait. Um, you can actually save up to a thousand pieces of holographic media onto your system um, on the internal memory. Uh, here's another example. So this was taken at our office in Brooklyn. We haven't visited in so long. It's nice to have a holographic capture of it. And this is Nikki from the team uh, who's helping here today. Oh, there she is. Hi, Nikki. Um, and represented as a hologram um, from, again, a single portrait mode photo. No programming required. And I can't stress that enough. Um, we're, this system is designed to be accessible not only from a price standpoint, but also from a usability standpoint. So no matter what type of creator you are, if you can take a portrait mode photo, you can create holographic memories for this system um, using that software of Holoplay Studio. Uh, I'm going to show you some advanced techniques now. Um, personally, I love taking tons of um, portrait mode photos of my family. I'm actually the little girl that you saw in the video is my daughter, Jane, um, to make this personal. Um, and so I do this all day long. There are advanced techniques if you want to go even further beyond. Here's an example of that. Um, so this is me. Uh, this is a light field photograph. And in this case, this captures an even higher fidelity version of people, places, things, and what have you um, than uh, I was showing previously. In this case, the magnifying lens in front of my eye actually is working like a real magnifying lens because this captures all of the directionality of light in the real world. And um, you might be thinking, oh, that seems really complicated to do. Not so. Um, so as an accessory, that folks can add on. This is not necessary, but for folks who want to go a step beyond, there um, is this uh, item that we call a light field photo rail. And basically, this is a photo rail that um, is really simple to operate. You can place any camera on top of it, and it captures a panning shot. A lot of folks who shoot video know what I'm talking about. Um, a panning shot just captures a video of multiple perspectives of the world. And our software, what you just saw in the screenshots before, Holoplay Studio, transforms that panning video into a holographic photograph like this. Again, no programming required. Um, if you've done even the simplest image editing, use this, use, if you've used the simplest image editing software, you'll be able to use Holoplay Studio, no problem. Um, the other thing we get asked a lot about is video. Can the looking glass portrait do video? And even more importantly, can I create holographic video messages to send to other folks? Um, and the answer to both those questions is yes. Um, here's an example of a holographic video of Missy from the team. Some of you all who are in the developer and creator community know Missy because um, she's helped get some of your content into the Looking Glass um, product line, including Looking Glass Portrait. So Missy shot this with a depth camera called the Azure Connect. And the Azure Connect is one of several depth cameras that we support. We also support Intel RealSense, a couple of those cameras, and some of the newer iPhones as well capture not only static photograph, but also holographic video. And I'm actually going to show you a live example of that. Um, so. This is me. And this is on Azure Connect right here. And I'm streaming right now to this looking glass. Uh, it's obviously live. Um, this would be really hard to fake. Um, obviously live. And I could, with a single click of a button, um, well, single click of a mouse, record a 10 second clip and send this to my mom, who's probably watching this webinar right now. Hi, mom. And she would then have it running in her looking glass portrait when she gets one of, I think, the 10 units that she bought. Um, and this is not only the first time that non-programmers can do this and send holographic video messages around the world. It's really the first time anyone's been able to do it. And that's one of the most exciting things about um, 
the community that's developing around Looking Glass Portrait is it's all sorts of creators, which includes folks who just shoot amazing photos with their phone. Now those can be given new life and transformed into holographic memories uh, in their Looking Glass Portrait um, and shared with other folks as well. I'm um, going to put myself back. Um, I don't want the folks who are in the developer community to feel left out. Um, so I did want to mention that we have full support for our Unity and Unreal plugins. Those are game engines used to make holographic apps. And um, thousands of y'all out there already use our plugins for those engines. That's how this was made. So um, this was created in Unity. This is based on um, an amazing visualization that Kajiro um, sort of a famous developer in the community, um, the Unity community created. And then we saved it. We saved the clip of it onto Looking Glass Portrait in standalone mode. In desktop mode, when you connect the included HDMI cable and USB-C cable to a PC or Mac, um, you can actually add interactivity and other things of that sort to um, holographic apps that others have created or that you've created. Um, but in this case, this is, uh, pre-recorded and running um, on this system that's connected just to wall power right now. Wanted to uh, kind of illustrate here. So I paused it. And thank you, Nikki. Um, you can see Nikki's actually touching um, the squid of this um, visualization, which is appearing a couple inches actually out of the device itself. Um, that's another neat thing about this new version of Looking Glass. For those of you who are familiar with our, our previous dev kits, this system has no volume inside, it's hollow. So you can actually, the holograms escape the physical bounds, the physical um, constraints of the display itself. Um, it's actually a super light system because of us reworking the optics from our prior generation system. And um, that also has the benefit of unlocking this capability as well, of the holograms living in the space in front of and behind the physical device itself. Um, and again, very, very light. Um, so, uh, oh, I mentioned that there was something that I wanted to um, share at the very end that we've been working on for a long time. We're fortunate to have found a great partner to work with to bring something that folks in our community have dreamed about for the last six years at least, and much longer than that if you go beyond um, our company. And that's is it possible to transform 2D media into holographic media? Because everything I just showed you is natively three-dimensional. A portrait mode photo has depth that's hidden behind the color photograph that you'll see on your phones. Um, the holographic video messages or these Unity apps or the light field photos, those are also natively three-dimensional in that they have three-dimensional information that's baked into those captures. But what if I wanted to take a photo from 20 or 30 years ago and transform that into a holographic version of that photograph? Um, I'm excited to share that that is now possible with an additional service that folks will be able to get access to um, when they get their looking glass portraits. Um, Janet, if you can share that photo that my mom sent over to me. Um, so that's a photo of me, um, smug, smug smirk on my face um, at my third birthday party. Um, and uh, this was taken before digital cameras. Uh, and my mom scanned this in and using this new process, we were able to generate synthetic depth. That's what you see on the left. That's that grayscale image that then we can use that same hollow play studio software that comes with all of the looking glass portraits that can then be transformed into a holographic version of that photo in just a few seconds. Again, with just a few clicks of a mouse. Um, it even works for photos that are older. So um, this next photo is a photo of, if you can share that next one, Janet, thank you. Uh, that's my grandpa, TJ Frame. Um, and I was really surprised that this actually worked. But you can see him looking all cool behind his motorcycle. And uh, there is synthetic depth, a synthetic depth map 
that is all you need to then transform that archival memory into a holographic photograph, um, which I'm going to show you right here, actually. Um, are we back on the looking glass? Yeah. Um, so this is that photo that you saw with that new service, transforming old 2D photos, whatever sort. These can be um, comic book scans, uh, photos from the internet, um, photos from your drawer from 30 years ago. And now that's living as this holographic version of that memory inside my looking glass portrait. And some of our software lets you add um, lighting and different image effects and text and things like that. Um, and here's actually my, um, here's that one of my grandpa. Transformed into a holographic version of that, um, that memory. So you can see um, no matter if it's memories new or old, the looking glass portrait and the software that comes with it um, specifically Holoplay Studio, which you saw that demo of. Uh, this allows all of those memories to take on new life as holographic photos. And in some cases, you can create new memories as well um, with some of the techniques that I shared here today. Um, really excited to get this into all of your hands. Um, and I'm getting a note that there are actually some questions. Um, so let me pull up some of the questions here. Uh, some of our team is on the Zoom, so they, I think folks have been answering some of the questions as they come in, um, but I wanted to field a few um, live here that came in um, before. Um, so what factors define which cameras are compatible with capturing content for the looking glass portrait and which are not? Um, it's a great question. So any of the newer iPhones, so iPhone, uh, 7 plus, 8 plus, um, 10, 11, 12, including all the variations, mini, pro, et cetera, as well as a number of Android phones, like a lot of the Galaxy series, the Samsung Galaxy series, um, Pixel 3, 4, and 5, and a number of others. Um, those can capture portrait mode photos that have depth hidden behind the color image that you see in your photo album. And Holoplay Studio, can completely for free can convert those portrait mode photos into holographic versions of those memories. Um, and then you can email it to other folks who um, might have a looking glass portrait and they can um, share in that experience as well. Um, with regards to camera rail, the light field um, photo rail, uh, any camera really will do. So whether it's a phone, a point and shoot or DSLR, all of those work um, and it's really just a moving camera. We recommend 4K capture or higher um, for the uh, light field photo reel. Um, and we have more details on this on the Kickstarter, which is look.glass slash portrait as well for folks who wanna check that out. If you have specific questions, um, you can join our Discord where a lot of the community is talking about um, a lot of what's possible and what they're gonna to start to make immediately the moment they get their looking glass portraits and that's at look.glass slash discord. Um, another question is what kind of photos work best for the 2D to 3D conversion? Um, uh, generally photos of people. So um, it can be multiple people. Um, doesn't matter if they're scanned photos or photos that are non-portrait that happen to be sitting in your photo album um, on your phone. All of those will work with this process. Um, as well as some stuff that goes even beyond people, like um, comic book characters and what have you. And over time, this uh, will broaden out to um, additional types of, um, you know, additional uh, types of photos that you can use in that conversion process. But for now, we recommend really focusing on people, uh, pets. Oh, people, pets, and comic books. <laughs> um, uh, what's next for Looking Glass is the last question. Um, it looks like we have time for here. Uh, so um, we've actually always got a lot bubbling in the background and there's a whole lot that's bigger than us that's happening on the capture side, holographic capture on the dream of what it would be like to um, do a holographic 
webinar, um, as well as um, advances that we're pushing forward on the display side and on some of the software that um, creates all of this content and that you all can use to create all of this content. Um, and we're, we're not talking about um, too much of that going on in the background. Uh, we've got our hands full right now, getting thousands of these looking glass portraits out to you all. Production has started. Um, and, uh, you know, we're just really excited to uh, be able to get the community of creators of all sorts, a uh, new system, a holographic display, a personal holographic display that you all can use. Um, no programming required, um, unless you want um, to do things like Unity and whatnot, but no programming required to do almost all the stuff that I showed you here today. Um, so I, I'm getting the cue that that's, um, we're coming to end of time. Um, thank you so much everybody for being a part of this very special. And now that we're through it, um, uh, it was a little stressful live demo of the Looking Glass portrait. Um, yeah, we're gonna be doing more of these over the coming uh, weeks and months. So excited to see y'all there. Um, there's still about 55 hours, I think, left on the Kickstarter. Um, the Looking Glass portrait is uh, 249 bucks. Um, it's probably never going to be this inexpensive to get your own personal holographic display. I, I know it seems crazy that that's even possible, um, but we really wanted to get this into a lot of folks' hands. The more folks in the community, the more that we can do together to build this holographic future. So please go to look.glass portrait if you're at all interested in what we were chatting about here today, get your own, and I'm excited to see you in the future.